welcome everybody to the game. Breaking news. Over 10 years after the game's release, Left 4 Dead 2 gets a new update. It's called the Last Stand Update, and it's coming soon. This has been officially announced by Valve, and they released a trailer here, and it shows a little lighthouse, some fog, and stuff like that, and this is supposedly going to be made by their community. There hasn't been a whole lot of action coming out of the Left 4 Dead camp, okay, but we are going to see a new update coming soon, hopefully in time for Halloween. They just released release this and they're just teasing us right now but hopefully we'll see more of this soon the last stand if you guys don't remember was a level a survival mode level from the original left for dead so is this just gonna be a remaster of that level just a little something a little halloween treat they're giving us you know or is it gonna be something more than that are they just tricking us okay is it gonna be something actually more tastier than that we'll find out so even after 10 years have passed since the release they're still releasing new stuff for this game that is impressive and that just goes to show man that this game is still relevant it still holds up if you go back and play it it really does man there ain't nothing compared to left for dead out there these zombie games they're trying but it ain't the same man they're even trying to make spiritual successors like back for blood to bring a new spin on the magical game that is left for dead now they got big shoes to fill with Will they be able to do it? Turtle Rock here, the studio that was responsible for Left 4 Dead, some of them developers moved on, and now they're going to make a spiritual successor called Back for Blood, based off of Left 4 Dead, okay? Even the logo and everything looks the same. If you ask me, that's a little, a little bit too close, guys, if you're trying to do something new, but they've teamed up with Warner Brothers there, Turtle Rock Studios, and they're trying to evolve Left 4 Dead since Valve dropped it, okay? And they came out and said, Said they aren't working on it anymore they haven't been working on it for a while they did start to work on left for dead 3 but they abandoned it and here's a couple uh screenshots and they're saying it was going to be open world and i think there's going to be some base building maybe this is a sign that maybe they're going to pick it back up and maybe left for dead 3 is going to be you know worked on again soon here we'll see maybe since back for blood has been you know talked about maybe val wants that competition they don't want to lose one of their biggest most beloved franchises there left for dead to you know back for blood and warner brothers and stuff like that maybe they're like hey man you know we still got it going on here let's pick it back up and maybe get something new going again since i mean the people really want it and turtle rock is is out there doing it i don't know the relationship that turtle rock has with valve and all that turtle rock is definitely teamed up with warner brothers and is moving full steam ahead to keep that left for dead action alive. Valve has said in the past that they are absolutely not working on Left 4 Dead 3 anymore at this time. Maybe they'll pick it back up like I was saying. There's been no word of that as of yet. They're just going back to Left 4 Dead 2. Maybe they'll keep that alive and then hey, if Back 4 Blood can't compete with Left 4 Dead 2, that ain't saying much about the studio or Warner Brothers over there, but I think they really can do something, alright? They released a screenshot. Back 4 Blood did. They released some mocap they're doing mocap and everything for this new Back for Blood game already. There's been no release date or nothing like that. We don't know exactly when it's coming out, but they're working on it. We do know that. We see the people there jumping around in their mocap suits and stuff like that. So it's being worked on, and I hope they really do evolve it. And they really, I think what they need to do to push Left for Dead or Back for Blood, whatever you want to call it, into the future, I think there needs to be base building. That's what Valve said they were working on before they dropped production production on Left 4 Dead 3, there was going to be base building. It was going to be set in uh, Morocco, and there's going to be four additional characters, eight total from the last Left 4 Dead. They're adding four more characters onto it. It was going to be cool sounding, you know, and I mean, I think that's what they need to do. If if I thought where's Left 4 Dead 3 going to go, it would be more open world as well, like they were saying. Uh, it was going to be open world, base building, stuff like that. That's where it needs to go to, because Left 4 Dead 2 
two, you had the survival mode. That was a little bit more open-ended, but you're still kind of stuck on one level. It definitely was not open world. The single player and the campaign, that was, you know, kind of linear as well. And you had a little bit of multiplayer action. And, you know, they had single player co-op and multiplayer PvP. They had it all, but it definitely wasn't open world. So that's one direction they could go in to evolve the franchise. Hopefully Back for Blood will be able to do that. If not, maybe shoot. I mean, maybe Left 4 Dead 3 will pick back up and let's see who does it better. You know what I'm saying? Is it going to be Back for Blood versus Left 4 Dead 3? We'll see. But we do know Back for Blood is being worked on. So we'll just have to wait for that. That's a sure thing we got there. So let's focus some more on that. Back for Blood is a triple A Left 4 Dead spiritual successor. And it's in development by former Left 4 Dead 2 developers at Turtle Rock Studios in partnership with Warner Brothers Entertainment. Back for Blood developers, they plan on evolving past Left 4 Dead. And on their website, they have a quote that I want to read here because this is sounding good as long as they practice what they're preaching here. So the Back for Blood crew over there at Turtle Rock says, We are not resting on any past laurels. Our goal is to take all we've learned and push forward. We know that's a tall order, said Phil Rob, co founder and creative director of Turtle Rock Studios. We're growing the team considerably because we're stepping up to the biggest challenge in the studio's history. We know this title has to stand out and we fully intend to make that happen. That's what I'm saying. I've said it in other videos. These studios, they got to push these games forward if they're going to be successful. And like I said earlier in this video, you got Left 4 Dead 2 to live up to. You got big shoes to fill. You're going to have to do something new. You're going to have to do something that's evolving from Left 4 Dead and I think that's the direction man base building open world stuff like that at least base building because that wasn't anywhere in Left 4 Dead 1 or 2 so that's one way to evolve it and if you want to go the open world route that's just another icing on the cake cherry on top to evolve as well but at least have base building and it looks from the screenshot there that Back 4 Blood released that uh, you know maybe that looks like a base to me it looks like a, you know a gate in a and walls were kind of stitched together there to kind of create a quick makeshift base like that's what i'm talking about man that's what you got to do is build these bases to keep these zombies out it's kind of like a little bit of a tower defense thing kind of like the survival mode from left for dead but you actually add some building into it and that really gets me hyped up because what do i love i love building and i love shooting and zombies are cool as well so you add all them together you mix that up and it's a recipe for success guys let me tell you, base building, open world, zombies, Left 4 Dead style. All right, fast zombies, a lot of zombies on screen at the same time. That's what we're dealing with here, and that's what I'm looking forward to. And we got Left 4 Dead 2 in the new update until Back 4 Blood releases their version of Left 4 Dead. I mean, we got ooh, we got zombies all over the place, and I love it, man. Hopefully, we'll have Left 4 Dead 2 in time for Halloween, that update, and then we'll get Back 4 Blood after that, and it's just going to be a bunch zombie action out there i love that man left for dead it is just a gem it still holds up today but it needs yeah it does need an update so thank you valve for that thank you to the mod community from left for dead and thank you for back for blood to the developers man keeping that gameplay alive because it is sweet man they really hit on something we gotta keep that alive we can't let all that sweet gameplay die in left for dead too so thank you guys for bringing that back in record recognizing how special Left 4 Dead 2 really was, man. And hopefully Back 4 Blood will nail it on the head again. It's the same people working on it that were working on Left 4 Dead, so they know what they're doing, hopefully, and they got Warner Brothers behind them. They are building their team, like they said, and they already said what I was going to say. Let's push it forward and do something new, not just rest on the old laurels and make a crummy little knockoff. No, we're doing something bigger, and we're doing something better, they say, and that's what I'm all for. That's what I think think they really need to do it sounds like it's on the right track so i'm super hyped up i'm super looking forward to it 
and you guys should be as well if you're into Left 4 Dead 2 and great gameplay. So anyway, we'll see what this update is like when it releases. I'll report on that as well, so stay tuned. And is this a good thing or is this a bad thing for Back 4 Blood that Left 4 Dead 2 is kind of raising up out of the grave like a zombie to return, okay? This could be a good thing, I think, on one hand because it's going to renew interest in Left 4 Dead 2 style stuff and that's what Back 4 Blood is tuning into. And then it, maybe it could be bad because this could be the sign of the return of Left 4 Dead 3 and Left 4 Dead 3 could be some serious competition for Back 4 Blood. So, I mean, which way is it going to swing? Let me know in the comments below. What would you guys rather play? Left 4 Dead 3 or Back 4 Blood? Spiritual successor. I mean, do you want the you want it from the source engine, if you will, or do you want the spiritual successor? All right, I might need to throw up a poll, and uh, if I do here, let me know, or let me know in the comments below what you would prefer there. Something new outside of Valve? Or do you want, the, you want it from the source, okay? Speaking of source, they say that's why Left 4 Dead 3 was halted. The main reason was because the source engine they were working with at the time, it couldn't handle the ambitious scale that they wanted to turn Left 4 Dead 3 into. Their ideas just couldn't be met by the engine there, so they had to scrap it. So maybe now that time has gone on and maybe they have the engine to pull it off. Maybe Left 4 Dead 3 will make a return. Wouldn't that be sweet? Maybe a, a competition between Back 4 Blood and Left 4 Dead 3 would be the best thing to happen for both of these games because they're going to try to outdo one another and competition is good for, uh, you know, production. So we'll see about that. Until next time, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger, over and out.